Nsem P T V niye. Nsem P T V ena yema mo akwa bebi mo asign edi abasui. Nsem P no nsem mo ya na akandi fupi ya na nsem P ni fupi etaika. Nsem di o mai biya ehia. Eni kandi niya. Owa juni na juni mo bi na wun susuya esesani yema. This very innovative, very creative thinker. Now, if you be also believe in possibilities, say give you what you won't be that, but you try see it. Yeah, it be easy. You know, can do it. You might be here so be too poor. Ghana, I'm going to pay you. Don't pay. The sense where you be at the amount. You know, Doctor Al Haj Mahmoud, our mia. Tnt, and as in PTV, we are casa. Ne, ne. Tuesday, May twenty first, twenty twenty four. Large Mahmoud Bangumia on one initiative a year policy saying so different around the conceive we ne ne making sure say a bem any so di mumbe ya kaya ye empowerment program kaya ye empowerment program we pay more Ghana hano man pay pay no say inyano ma omo Sri Lanka that is more northern region it's answer ho uhiya a woho a com a woho a juma any ho si na bibi biya omo si somo kuku omo kaka ni na na wa bi pay mu or southern sector ha and your shanty region the omu guha pa ha greater akra mota ho pa ha oko buno ne buno instance wa isan fami na koso uinti no omu guho no miye pa na dudu wa na ba omu inti mi nko sku isan si si keni ho e nei en fi e si che sayi na dan roma be bire na iti mi kubi omu ba nso minye jwa wapa bi anye si dombe ti miye me ya ane se enye lod ko fo niye ma a ho duwa emu du 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 en omba en ombe swa swa en oma bro omu je ni ya piska and I am not a baby. So, me, Miss Miss Rimnisa, I don't be a dummy. I may be in your conya, go school, see a dear, my bear doctor of economics, my bear vice president. Bring your no more wager, me, and my mom say. Bring your dear drama hammer here in a tall nose, a sato tall pine at the bremo, some one goes one swan yamano, or mamma dachi beer, me a large mamma bombia, me, yes, sir. Ne, doctor a large mamma bombia, or lunchy, kayaye empowerment program. And we hear any say we see so good dying and the shunga dear dying and ever born who am a kaya di bia specific skills and if anang kasa no be tingi abon brada chibi ah any kwai say oso oso ni ama sa di ko gum and sa no timi a shenho na videos ni pictures ni bo ha f papa or he edifisa mobile mi ami e si e o madina or he machine say gum for technical training. For vocational training, she said, "Eh, nika feke ke, ne ne kaya ye for over three hundred thousand. Mungu kumasi, mungu mwa kra, bunu ist, mwa tonkra. Si yafa men di, she said, twenty twenty four, December seventh. They should forget about getting even one vote from them. Na juma di enu kusone, di eti vobe kwa ni akuwe, nsemwa alaji, doctor mungu amu yadu tuja, ena fino, e dino, videos, pictures, ni video kudua, eku." Alhamdulillah. É bem para cair o fogo, mas para o três anos. É bem o amor de tinha sua cama, não me abro o braço. É o que é sem facilidade, é o achamento. A o que achamento não se vai para três anos ou não. It's an honor and a privilege and a great pleasure to be here today for the commissioning of these hostels and skills training centers for the Kaiye and the whole program to empower the Kaya Ye. It has been a long time in coming. The Kaya Ye phenomenon is not new in Ghana. It's been there for many, many, many years. After looking at the plight of the Kaya Ye's, in 2019, when I visited Agbogbulushi, I made a promise on behalf of government that we would look at trying to address the Kaye phenomenon by making sure we could build hostels for them and 
offer them some training so that they could have alternative skills to engage in other productive activities. When I made this promise on behalf of government, there were many who thought it was not a realistic promise. They thought it was not possible. They said it was a 419 scheme. But I knew that inshallah, it was possible for us to do it. We had COVID in 2020 and we had to recover from it. I subsequently called the administrator of the District Assembly Common Fund, Honorable Irene Natoshi Adu. I told her that we needed to do something and I needed her help. After I presented my case, she said, I am going to help. I will do everything I can to help to make this possible. And this was the beginning of the process. A society that does not take care of its poor, of its vulnerable, is not a good society. And therefore you will see that since we came into government, we have been thinking very much about how to take care of the poor and the vulnerable amongst us. Different programs by our government have been initiated to take care of the poor. We have looked at how to help the lepers. I am a patron for the lepers aid. We've looked at how to help the street children. We've looked at how to help persons with disabilities, our brothers and sisters in the Zungo communities. We have brought about programs through the Zungo Development Fund to help them. We have looked at how to help sickle cell sufferers by bringing a very expensive drug, hydroxyurea, under the National Health Insurance Scheme. We have looked at how to help children who suffer from cancer by bringing childhood cancer under the National Health Insurance Scheme. We have looked at how to help poor parents who cannot afford school fees by bringing about free senior high school education. And so what we are doing for Kaya years today is part of a whole program of activity of our government to help the poor strategic partnerships forged between government agencies, private enterprises, and esteemed civil society organizations such as the Ghana Enterprises Agency, the NEIP, the YEA, CTVET, GET Fund, TVET, District Assemblies Common Fund, the Father Campbell Foundation, BEST, and the Ghana National Gas Company, and BOST. The KIA Empowerment Program has been meticulously conceived and crafted to provide holistic and sustainable economic empowerment to these resilient young women. This multifaceted program is characterized by a rigorous and exhaustive recruitment process culminating in the selection of initial training cohorts comprising 5,000 headquarters. Over the span of three weeks, participants will be immersed in a transformative learning experience 
encompassing essential modules such as baking and beading, supplemented by invaluable soft skills training in personal health care, financial management, and entrepreneurial acumen. Crucially, the provision of post-training support and implementation of a track and trace model serves as the linchpin of the program's efficacy with participants receiving starter packs tailored to facilitate their seamless integration into new economic opportunities and further ensure the beneficiaries do not return to being headquarters. This unwavering commitment to ongoing support is buttressed by a robust framework of continuous monitoring and evaluation, ensuring dynamic program enhancement and personalized assistance for further education and entrepreneurial ende endeavors. The program's infrastructure boosts the establishment currently of two hostels. Other hostels are under construction in the Ashanti region and the Bono East region, each meticulously designed to accommodate and cater to the needs of 300 girls. The hostels are equipped with modern training facilities, sanitary washrooms, bathing areas, and exemplify our unwavering commitment to safeguarding the dignity and well-being of all participants. With an overarching goal to empower Kayaye across Ghana through the transformative power of technical and vocational education, TVET, the program sets out, as I said, to train a total of 5,000 girls this year, both residential and non-residential. In addition to the strides already made, I am thrilled to announce that discussions are ongoing with Metro Mass and Ayalolo to teach them driving. It is possible. Furthermore, we are in talks to provide them also with ICT training. These partnerships will further expand horizons of the Kaye Empowerment Program, offering even more avenues for skills development and economic empowerment. Expectations are rightfully high, with curriculum development meticulously aligned with industry standards, the deployment of highly competent trainers and instructors, the provision of adequate facilities, seamless collaboration with relevant industries, the implementation of robust assessment systems, and the provision of essential supportive measures such as starter packs and internship placement. As we embark on this transformative journey, let us collectively pledge our unwavering commitment and solidarity to ensure the resounding success of the Kaya Empowerment Program. United by the resolute belief that it is possible, let us stand as beacons of hope, breaking down barriers forging new pathways, and charting a brighter, more inclusive future for all. Together, we can and we will take a bold solution that will bring a profound and lasting difference. My special thanks go to Irene Natoshi Adu, the administrator of the District Assembly Common Fund for her commitment to this program. She was very, very critical. Special thanks 
also go to the CEOs of the YEA, the NEIP, the GTVET, CTVET, Get Fund, the GEA, and others who have contributed. My thanks also go to Ajara, Ajia Azara Haroon and her team, Father Campbell and his team, for all their commitment and hard work to making today possible. Mabisi Yebeni, Tedabai, Nia Tuma Tuma, Oi Zunawana, the Nangmanya Sam, Neto Zuk Sungo, Neto Zuk Sungo, Manda Yelia, Netia Mila, Yia, Kayaka, Mare, Shelian, and Doni, and Gisi, Kabang Situma, Nerba Panda Yan and Dukunani, Kayana Yamangi, now you coni, Dinan Nani. Kazunawa, Zunawa, Dinania, now when you call me, Tibia Chambahi, Tukuya Maran Sungniani, and Sungniani, and Malan Sungnia, Katiza Chanutoni, Tia Chakayanella Tuma, and Bangsutuma Yena Maria Mamang Nusutuma, and Diria Bisi, Kapabachanusukuti. Kaya mang 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 nang nang azriki kataza chenu suni. Duzgo yari chaka yat boria nang shela swa chenan taki ya hankale yani dungwa kunani wa yani duko na yaku yalema ndini nani it is possible to nang ne kadutun yapang ya manga busi ya pam salamu alaikum arahmatullahi taala barakatu. Thank you so much. I want to take this opportunity to introduce the parliamentary candidate for the La Nkwantanam Madina constituency, Okum Kwam Robert Lamte. He is your PC. Support him. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> But you are my mood, but I do not. It's no Osebono, no devotion. I mean, I have a pump to my come, 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 I did have Empa, <laughs> 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 
Enti Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, Emma Kayaye for Baby Naketu. No, we are Kayaye and Amu or Mongon Sanguatuma, Amon Tia, Abuba Bombra. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, MPP, we promised and we have, we have delivered. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia promised and he has delivered. Ever said down for the Uba Baumia, he means business. Or Trinity will move for him. Or Trinity Ghana for Mabu and Mani Marima. 